The levels adjustment gives us finer control of the tonal range and contrast in an image. Many of the changes that can be made in levels can also be done with the optional sliders in the light and color adjustments. Displaying the levels adjustment again shows us the histogram. Here in the menu, the luminance and RGB options are going to affect the full image and are only going to change the type of graph presented in the histogram. I usually prefer to leave this as RGB. Below we can then select individual colors to adjust. We're going to start with RGB selected. And as I mouse over the histogram, we get four main control points. From left to right, there are black point, shadows, midtones, highlights, and white point. So if I drag the black point in, the amount of areas that are pure black in the image is going to increase. Move the white point in and the amount of pure white in the image increases. To increase highlights, move its slider in. To decrease, move it out to the right. For shadows, it's the opposite. Slide in to increase the shadows and out to lighten the shadows. So basically, it's slide left to lighten and slide right to darken. The midtone slider works the same way, but notice that the shadows and highlight sliders move along with it. So the midtones affect much more the image than moving only the shadows or highlight sliders. We can also move the top nodes of the shadows, midtones, and highlight sliders. They're the opposite, though. Slide right to lighten, slide left to darken. A general rule of thumb when doing a levels adjustment is to move the black and white points in to where the histogram starts going up. If you bring these too far in, clipping begins to occur which means areas of total black and total white will occur more and more. Moving the shadows and highlight sliders in towards the center is going to increase the overall contrast in the image. Now let's switch the menu to only affect the reds in this image. We get the same sliders, but rather than affecting the overall tones, we're only affecting red tones within the shadows, midtones, and highlights of the image. Slide left to boost the reds, right to decrease. Use the shadow slider to only adjust the reds in the darker areas of the image. If I move this in a bit, and then switch to green and move its shadow slider out a bit, the greens in the valley get a nice boost. The effects of adjusting the individual colors will vary from image to image. But doing so can really change the overall look or mood of a photo. A little trial and error with levels can often end up with some great results.